October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and with that in mind, Diecast Outcast created the Paint It Pink Challenge, and this is my entry in the challenge. Uh, the car you see there is the Silhouette, one of the original Hot Wheels 16 cars. I was seven years old when Hot Wheels originally came out. I remember it well. I had several of the cars, loved the cars. They were just so much fun. I beat the hell out of a lot of those silhouettes. And I know some of the traditionalists aren't going to be happy with a modification I make to this one. But uh, Lord knows I've destroyed a few of them over the years when I was young. And maybe some of you will consider this destroying this one. But I had fun. And uh, I liked the results. So uh, I decided to use those wheels. Um, I took the uh, silhouette, stripped it, and uh, using metal cast base paint, I uh, hit it with the base coat of silver. And then I had picked up this pink paint uh, on clearance at Michael's called Tint It, Pinkalicious color. I got that months ago, I think it was a couple bucks a can. And I figured I'd use it someday, and then uh, when he announced this challenge, I thought it's the perfect time. So uh, I hadn't used it before, and uh, tried it on this. I really like the pink color. I did have to wet sand it after doing the original coat. Um, I had right before this, I had watched a video by Alvarez Diecast Customs. And uh, as I recall, it was a truck. And the paint job on it was just so beautiful. It, j was, it was so incredibly shiny, so deep of a shine that I thought, okay, I've got to try <laughs> a little better on this. Let me see if I can get that kind of shine. So uh, I wet sanded this and, uh, you know, in between the clear coats, I wet sanded it and... Uh, it, it with 3000 grit sandpaper in case you can't see it there <laughs> and uh, I had no idea really I, I've wet sanded small areas before but I had no idea how small the cars really are until you start to do something like this <laughs> um, so the pink really isn't the original hot pink I don't believe that the spectra flame color was but uh, I love the, the pink. I was really happy. And for a $2 clearance paint, you sure can't beat that. So I worked on it and worked on it. Uh, and it's interesting. The, the Silhouette was always one of my favorite cars as a kid. You know, I, I love the Silhouette. I love the Diora. I really vividly remember playing with those and, you know, putting the track together and I uh, was talking to a friend recently about it. And, you know, we were remembering things like having those, I forget what they were called, but they were like power stations or something like that, that basically were, you know, battery, they were battery powered as I recall, but they were like wheels that as the track, as a car went through them, it basically spun the car through with these wheels pushing it on both sides of the car and it would shoot it further down the track and uh, it was so much fun. And, you know, I remember playing with these things in the backyard, playing with them in the driveway, truly destroying the cars. I don't have any of the original Hot Wheels from when I was a kid because I played with them. And uh, I had Matchbox cars. And one of my first videos here on YouTube was of my Matchbox collection that I still have. But my mom always told me, you know, well, those are collectibles. You have to take care of those. Those are from England. And I really didn't play with those the same way I played with the Hot Wheels. And uh, like a friend was saying recently when we were talking, Hot Wheels were different because they just rolled so well. They were fast cars. You know, we didn't have anything like that really prior to the Hot Wheels. And, you know, I was seven years old. I was the target market. I, that, I'm who they were after, and they captured me. And uh, I played with those things for years, you know. Um, I, I was an only child and spoiled rotten. 
and uh, my dad loved cars, so you know we'd we'd pick these things up. Um, I did detail the interior a little bit, tried to give it almost kind of a space agey kind of look, because you know that's what I think of with the silhouette, and uh, used gauzy on the on the windshield or the dome or whatever you want to call it. I haven't had this problem before, but the tabs on that are so small that it's difficult to hold. And on all the other windshields I've done, yeah, there's a big area you can grab onto around the windshield. This one just has three little tiny tabs that you can grab onto. So I, I wicked off the excess, and then I realized I screwed up trying to think I was going to be able to lay this down flat on that piece of tape on the mat <laughs> that you see behind there. So I actually had to work it to the edge of the bench so I could get the tweezers down low enough and then set it down. I, it's a problem I hadn't run into before. So, uh, you know, I covered that up to keep any little fuzzy things from landing on there. And, you know, I used one of those little crayon boxes that I had handy. And, uh, you know, it, it was shiny. Um, you know, I, I kept the engine the same way it was. I seriously thought about changing the engine on it. And uh, I thought, no, I'm, I'm keeping the same engine. I'll chrome it. I used the Molotow pin to chrome it. And I put new axles in there naturally I, when I did the wheel swap. But I, I had a little difficulty with the front axle. So uh, I thought about putting an axle tube, and then I didn't want to cut into it too deeply into the chassis. So what I ended up doing was basically the axle the the wheels the front wheels are glued to each end of uh, the axle and uh, then the axle just rolls freely um, I can tell you if I was a kid now that shiny dome on that would not have lasted an hour probably not five minutes so uh, let's get it put back together and uh, it doesn't roll the way it did when I was a kid, because the, the, the changes I made to the axles and everything. Um, so it's kind of a, a reluctant roller now compared to uh, what they were originally. But I have to say that pink delicious tinted paint, I, I'm thrilled with the results. It, it I, I bought that can. Just figure, I thought I'd paint a combi with it at some time or you know something. I wasn't sure what. Never dreamed I'd be doing one of the original Hot Wheels. I haven't done an original Hot Wheels restoration yet. Basically, I'm, I'm waiting until my skills get better. You know, I look at the ones some of the guys do, and uh, they're just amazing. But I thought it was time for me to bust out one of these and uh, see what I could do with it. And I'm happy with the results. I hope you like the results. I know it's not the traditional silhouette. I, I really like how it looks with these wheels. I think if the silhouette was here today in that same body and everything else, you know, being the same, I think it would have these wheels on it now. So uh, hopefully you guys like this as much as I do. And... Uh, I get it put together here in a second. I'll get it wrapped up. Um, I really have always liked the look of the silhouette. And it's just a clean car. I did add a little detail to it. I put the little colored in the headlights, tail lights, turn signals. You can't see it all that well uh, with the pink paint. But uh, here's the end result. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So the that's my car for the paint at pink challenge here's where we were originally that poor little car was beat to hell somebody had as much fun with that car when they were a kid as i did when i was a kid truly i i probably left them looking worse than that so <laughs> anyhow that one was in good condition compared to, to the way i abused them and uh here's what it looks like now I really like the pink. You can kind of see the colors of the taillights and the turn signals back there. I, I don't know if you can see the headlights that I painted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you can barely catch the headlights I painted in there. But that's my silhouette. Uh, 
Thanks to Diecast Outcast for doing the Paint It Pink Challenge. This has been a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully all of this works to raise uh, breast cancer awareness. And uh, all of you take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you in the next video.